Okay, I'd like to tie a um, crayfish pattern. This is called the Pine Squirrel Crayfish. Um, it's a relatively simple pattern to tie. It has very few materials. Obviously, since it's called the Pine Squirrel Crayfish, it's tied primarily with Pine Squirrel. Um, for a hook, I'm going to be using a Dairiki 810. This is in a size 6. On there, I've already attached a set of barbell eyes. I'm going to use some Danville brown thread. Start the thread behind the barbell eyes and lay a base down the shank. <coughs> okay, I'm going to lay this base down to a point on the shank that's just above the barb. Okay, for the antenna, on the fly I'm going to be using some moose mane. I've got two pieces and the tips are about the same length, which is what I want. And I'm going to make them about the length of the shank, maybe just a tad bit longer. I'll put a pinch wrap on them right here so they stay on top of the shank. And we'll wrap the thread on down the shank to the barbell eyes. Clip off the excess. And to give this just a little bit of luster, a little bit of sheen, I'm going to tie in some root beer crystal flash. <coughs> okay, again, I'm going to make that just about the length of the shank. Double it over. And we're right back at that point in the shank above the barb. Okay, they're about the length of the tenna. At this point I'm going to put in a little bit of dubbing. This dubbing I'm using it will help keep the um, pinchers separated. Uh, I'm using some dubbing that I've cut off one of the strips, one of the zonker strips, I've cut this from the strip. So it will be the same size as the pinchers of the, uh, the um, pinchers on the crayfish. Okay, I'm going to wet this a little bit with my fingers. And we'll bring it around the shank, build up a little ball. Okay, for the body and for the pinchers or the claws, I'm going to be using some pine squirrel skin, Zonker Crawdad Orange. It's in a small size. Okay, I'm going to have the side that has the hangover, I want that to be away from the fly. I want this to be about the length of the shank. I'm going to separate it. Take some water, make sure it stays separated. Then I'm going to tie it on the far side of the shank. And we'll clip it off a little bit to make sure it's not longer than the barbell eyes. And I'm going to go ahead then and secure that by wrapping on down the shank. Okay, we'll come back to that point. We just put in that claw. I'm going to put in another claw. Only this time I'm going to be using a pretty long zonker strip. Because this is going to become the body also. Again, I'm going to use the side that has the fur or the dubbing or the zonker strip material overhanging. Again, I'm going to measure it about the length of the shank. And we'll separate it. Again, put a little water to keep it separated. <coughs> OK, 
and then we'll tie it on the near side of the shank. Well, come on here. I want that skin part right up on the shank. There we go. Okay, we'll lift the strip and bring our thread then back down to the barbell eyes. Now I'm going to take the strip that I had and I'm going to wind it around the shank. And I'm going to move it on down the shank towards the barbell eyes. Slightly over wrapping it so the skin doesn't show. And I'm going to tie it off right behind the barbell eyes. And we'll clip the excess strip. And we'll make a couple more wraps to make sure it's out in place. Okay, we'll put a little half hitch in here. Okay, now I'm going to take some more dubbing. I'm going to use it to cover the barbell eyes where they're attached to the hook shank. Okay. We can pull everything back. And let's put just a little bit more on there to make sure we got those nice and covered. Okay, then we can form our head. And we'll clean up the head just a little bit. Whip finish. Clip it off and let's clean up some of those little stragglers that are hanging air on the, the eye. Okay, this time then we've, we've finished our fly, pine squirrel, crayfish. If we need to, we can always make our pinchers just a little bit shorter, but this is an excellent pattern. It does catch a lot of fish.